Well, this week we're looking at how the railway maps of the past could shape a future inland rail line into the region. Rail planners are considering a new route to supplement the Dawlish line. One option is the old passenger route up the Teen Valley. Trains to London would go north from Newton Abbott on a freight line and then along relayed track to join another section of freight line at Exeter. Our business correspondent Neil Gallagher has been investigating. You've probably shot over this old line in a car without noticing. It goes under the A38 and here it is still a railway. This freight line used to be a passenger line going up the Teen Valley towards Exeter. The line was single track and twisting. It was built in two stages. The first leg went as far as Cristo and opened in 1882. In 1903 it was taken north and east to Exeter. The final passenger train was in 1958. Freight trains ran for a couple of years longer. They're lovingly remembered thanks to preservation work at Cristo. Flooding meant the line was shut entirely from this point up towards Exeter in 1961. Trains on this line running north from Cristo passed Dunsford and Longdown and turned east towards Exeter. In the rolling landscape just outside Exeter, I went to a wooded country estate to discover what remains of the line today. Somewhere around here is one of the challenges that this track presents an old tunnel. The steep gradients meant two tunnels were necessary, as our archive film reveals. Huh. This is the Exeter end of the tunnel. Newton Abbott is that way. There are bats inside there. The reason they shut it off was that there was a collapse somewhere inside the tunnel probably after a winter much like the one that we've had. Rail experts think reconstruction of the route would be expensive, but possible. The line would finally be brought here to Marsh Barton on the edge of Exeter, where, as you can see, there is still a freight line. Freight movements also happen today back at the southern end of this route, where timber is shipped out from time to time. The question is the bit in between. Would it ever make economic sense to join up the 15 or so miles without track, especially given that some lengths of the original track bed have had the A38 built on top of them? The Teen Valley route via Chudley is of limited benefit other than just as a diversionary route when the Dawlish Sea Wall is not available. It would have some commuter benefits, but its journey time capabilities are very restricted. The problem is that it's got severe gradients, I'm told, and it's quite curvaceous, windy, so it, it, the, speeds, the speeds on it would be low. I would call it a second or third rate solution. So, maybe not a front runner compared to the North Dartmoor route or options nearer the coast at Dawlish, but it's intriguing nonetheless. I was puzzled by this until I saw the 1958 footage from this very spot, which certainly shows there was once line-side telegraph equipment right here, along with everything else. Neil Gallagher, BBC Spotlight, on the old Teen Valley line. Now, it's been another sunny day across much of the region.